Are you a natural girl and you're thinking of relaxing your hair? Are you relaxed and you're thinking of going back to natural hair? <laughs> In this video, we're going to be going through natural versus relaxed hair. We're going to delve into both worlds so you can know what exactly you're about to get into. <laughs> My name is Onye and um, you are very welcome to my channel. When we talk about hair, you know, related stuff, you know. Uh -huh. Okay, today I'm getting into the world of natural hair and relaxed hair. And I want to tell you, if you're a naturalista, I want to tell you the pros and cons of your hair. And if you are on the relaxed part, your hair has many cons, but it also has many pros. So let's get into it. Okay, so you get the views um, to weigh it by yourself, knowing the pros and cons. And then I'll also be telling you my viewpoint of natural hair and relaxed hair from an African perspective, from my perspective. All right, so I have my little book where I wrote my points. So I'll just be reading out from my points you know so that you'll be a guide you get that okay so let's start off with natural hair what are the benefits of natural hair the first benefit is that natural hair is strong by virtue of its texture and its structure okay so when you're carrying natural hair you're very assured of the strength of your hair Secondly, natural hair has a high level of elasticity and therefore more resistance to breakage. We all know that the biggest enemy of our hair is breakage. And if you have a hair that is more resistant to breakage, well, aren't you on the winning team? You are, right? Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> okay, natural hair has a beautiful and unique texture. It looks different from um, relaxed hair and from straight hair. So that's kind of a plus. Another one is that natural hair is very versatile. Who doesn't know about this? Natural hair can be packed in several, several ways and styles. If you look at bridal hairstyles for natural hair, you will actually be amazed. I know that if you're a naturalista out there, you are actually not like using the full potential of your natural hair and flexing it in ways that will make the relaxed hair people jealous. I know you are not, but anyways, you can look into the ways in which you can style your hair and you'll be surprised at what is out there for you, you know? All right, now let's get into the risks, or let me say the cons of natural hair. First of all, this is something that all naturalistas know. Your hair tends to shrink very, very fast. And this shrinkage also comes with um, tangles, single strand knots, and in general, it's not easy to manage your hair when it is tangled and shrink. And natural hair tends to shrink a lot faster than relaxed hair. And depending on which texture of hair you have, yours might even shrink faster than your neighbor's. Secondly, because your hair shrinks, it makes it very difficult for you to manage your hair. It makes it very painful for you to manage your hair. My elder sister had natural hair and she always cries when she makes her hair. Like She's always screaming. When I do her hair for her, I get the most complaints. If you are not the kind to like give your hair enough time to detangle it strand by strand carefully and all of that, you will be having a very hard time managing your natural hair. Also, natural hair is time consuming. Just like I said, because your hair shrinks a lot, it makes it harder to manage. And as you're managing it, you waste a lot of time on one portion of hair that someone who has relaxed hair would have just run or combed through that hair and you would have been done with the process. When you decide to carry your natural hair in other forms, like to probably um, stretch your hair, you'll find out that you're employing heat into your hair. And this, you know, heat damage, you know. 
you're opening your doors to heat damage so natural hair is also prone to heat damage when you want to style your hair in other forms all right now let's get into relaxed hair pros and cons let's start with the pros you know let's always go with the good first can you see the little red things in my hair i did a bad dye job okay so the first pro of relaxed hair is that you have less risk to breakage yay untangling woo and single strand knots why because your hair is um easier to comb and it does not shrink that much another one is that you are not exposed to heat damage why is that because your hair is already as straight as you want it to be you'll probably not be going for a flat iron every two weeks or every week you know because your hair is already straight so yeah that cancels that one out for you and because your hair is easy to manage it cuts down on the time for you to take care of your hair and also there are a lot of things you can do with relaxed hair a lot of styling you know and you as a relaxed girl out there i am very sure like i'm like 60 percent sure that you have not explored the world of hair styling for relaxed hair so if you're in that category and i'm looking at you now you are in that category make sure you look into videos that will teach you how to style your relaxed hair so you can make the most out of it and make the naturalistas jealous all right so don't get ahead of yourself now let's talk about oh the cons of your hair <laughs> Relaxed hair is more prone to breakage. You know why? Because relaxed hair is weak. You know why relaxed hair is weak? Because relaxers break protein bonds in your hair. And when they break those protein bonds in order to make your hair straight, they also reduce the strength of your hair fibers. So, in essence, when you relax your hair, you're opting for weaker hair, basically. That's really sad. Okay, the next bad thing about your relaxed hair is that it looks lifeless. Come on, why is your hair so straight and flat and well, it doesn't look good. Overprocessed hair does not look good. Texlax hair is very nice. I should say Texlax hair is like the best because it's integrating the two worlds in one and if you look at my hair maybe you have an idea of what texlax hair is because this hair is not over processed and it's not virgin also so and lastly lastly it is so sad that your scalp is being exposed to such amounts of chemical treatments especially those that relax their hairs within one month or two or three months i tell you guys that thing is really very unhealthy if you are doing that you should really stop it okay um this must have been very heavy cons and probably too nice pros i don't know about that but anyways let's get into the way i as an african see natural versus relaxed hair when you're carrying a hair type or a hairstyle you have to be looking out for yourself first my mom tried natural hair some day, some years ago and she realized that it was really not comfortable and convenient for her at that present point in time. This is because these two hairstyles really depend on how much time you have to care for it, you know, how much time you want to give into your hair at that moment and all of that. So when you're thinking of going natural, or when you're thinking of relaxing your hair, you should first of all consider your comfort. Secondly is the cost. But I believe that this one is not really, it's relative because people often think that relaxed hair is more easy and um, cost effective to manage than, than natural hair. And this is because they think that when you relax your hair, you should care for it less. Or the thing that when you relax your hair, it requires less care. I have been in the both worlds and I realized that these two components are just the same. Honestly, they are identical. If you want to have healthy hair, whether relaxed or natural, you have to be looking out for it at the max that you can. So considering cost, I would say you can either go natural or relaxed and both of them are basically the same. If 
you want to carry healthy hair. Some people think that natural hair should be worn because you want to enter the natural hair gang, the no relaxer gang, you know, and all of that. But really, you shouldn't be concerned about what the society thinks about what you're wearing on your head. You should be thinking about yourself. Is it nice for you? Is it your taste? Do you really look flattering in natural hair? These are the things that you should consider for yourself. Also, I consider hair as something that you can use for art. You know, your face basically doesn't change when you reach a certain age, but sometimes you want your look to change. How can you make your look to change? You can do that with your hair. So I basically believe that if you try natural hair, you should try relaxed hair, you should try straight hair, you should try dyed hair, and that is just how I decide to look at the hair. There should be nothing rigid about your hair. I for one will be going in for a red hair look very soon. And I was natural for two years before I went to the relaxed gang, and now I find myself in this midpoint where I just have full hair, that is not very relaxed and that is not completely natural and I'm just loving it. Thank you for sitting in with me today and I hope you are very well educated on this and if you are in between making a decision I hope you've made one now or maybe you can give a little more thought to it you know not just immediately but yeah you get the point in general. I'll see you in my next video have a nice day bye